of this video of my crystal collection. It has been quite some time since I made that video. I also have some announcements. You can now become a member of my channel. A member of my channel. And there are several levels. Starting at 1.99, I think, just 1 euro 99 cents. So that's very cheap. And you can go up to higher levels as far as a personalized video each month. So that's quite a good deal. You have to check out the levels to know what you will get on each level. And then back to the crystals. Well, I'm starting a crystal business. For those who have not read it yet on the community page, I am starting a crystal, crystal, crystal business and I've already sold two crystals. Um, I will be selling crystals via YouTube, via TikTok live streams and Instagram live streams and I will also make a um, web shop when the time is right and when I have time. <laughs> And um, yeah, I think I will do a story time about how I got the idea to start selling crystals because it will take too long to do that right now because you guys are here to see my crystal collection not for story time, I gather. So as you can see, it's a very broad variety of crystals and I have more, but this is a collection of the newest arrivals. There will be more crystal collection videos and they will be sold as well. <laughs> Most of them will be sold. So let's start with the first crystal. Let's start with the most out there crystal, okay? That is this one. Can you see what it is? Exactly, it's an alien and it looks so much smaller on the camera than it is in real life. It's very heavy and it's made of volcano agates. I think it is so beautiful. They did such a good job, so smooth. Volcano agate. Gorgeous. This is a UV light. And the light is blue. And as I shine it on the crystal, it should turn out to be green, neon green. These dark parts should turn neon green, but they don't. So I think the the UV lamp is just not right, not a good one. It's a very cheap one, so I'll get a better one. So that's number one. Do you like it? Next crystal is a citrine cluster. Citrine cluster, cluster, cluster. Citrine. so pretty and shiny and um, I really like citrine it's quite an expensive crystal so I really like that you can see the rough material I really like that in clusters that you can always see where it comes from so to speak it's not just the pretty outside, but also the rough backside. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Crystal. Please let me know in the comments what crystal 
crystals you liked most in this video. So the next crystal is this diamond shaped labradorite. Labradorite. It has a strong flash, as you can see. And you always have to look for the right angle to find the flash. It's so, so beautiful. And I love the diamond shape. That's something I've been really into lately, the diamond shaped crystals. And you can get these really cute holders. So as you can see, it makes a really nice combo stand with the diamonds. It looks very good. So yeah, the flesh is very clear and blue. Labradorite also has gold fleshes and purple fleshes that I will show you in a minute. The backside has a little less flesh. Here's some flesh, but you always have to find the right angle. There's a little bit more. Oops. <laughs> I knew that would happen. So yeah, that's the Labradorite, guys. The Labradorite is available in very light colors, but also in very dark colors. By the way, if you see a crystal in this video that you would really like to buy, just let me know. You can just add the minute, the timestamp in the comments or send me a email and then we can dis discuss the price. I can send it all over the world, so that's okay. So that was this one, which one? Yeah, I'm gonna put it aside. Let's do another Labradorite so you can see the difference. So here we have a huge freeform. A huge freeform. Look at the front. It's gorgeous. It is purple. And the camera doesn't even pick it up as much as it is in real life. Oh, it's... look at that. I really like it. It's, it's like flames going up. Flames going up. Can you see that? Oh, the neighbor was starting to clean, it sounded like. Oh, it's so... yeah. I had to stop for a minute because the neighbor was cleaning. Yeah, I put I put the Labradorite back here because there's a light behind it and the, yeah, this is nicer, I think. So, the next crystal I'm going to show is this also a diamond shape. I think it's a flower agate. I'm not 100% sure. It's also very pretty. And it has the diamond shape. Gorgeous. Let's put it in the stand. Let me see if I can have another light. Because it's transparent a little bit. Oh, it's hard to see on the screen. But it is transparent a little bit. Yeah. See? Looks so nice on the stand. It really is, makes a statement, I think, if you put it on a stand. It's more beautiful than just having it lay flat on the table. 
and it's not very super expensive to stand so I'm gonna put this one back again so it looks so cool with the light all right so that was the crystal of the diamonds the next crystal I want to show you is this fluorite fluorite also hand-picked like I do every crystal and why did I pick this one because it has a lot of blue and blue is quite rare so that's the reason and I will show you how transparent it is so I turn off the light and look at this it is gorgeous Look how transparent it is. And look at the purple line here. So cool. I just love it. This is the other side. Wow. Look at those colors. Colors, 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 colors. Colors, 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 colors. Yeah, I, I just love it. Fluorite is a, a favorite crystal of mine. Definitely. I have a, I've bought a lot of fluorite for to sell. Also some butterflies. So that's this one. With the purple here. It's, yeah, it's gorgeous. So that one. Then we have this angel. We have this angel. And this is called Druzy. This part. It's when you look inside the crystal and it very often has this beautiful glitter and shine just like here and as you can see it's also a little transparent beautiful I really like this one because it is so perfect and so smooth. It's an agate, agate crystal. And the back is also very smooth. With the little druzy part here. And you can see the beautiful lining on it. The gorgeous lines. And it's such an elegant crystal, an elegant material. So, if you're interested, it is for sale, just like all these crystals are. It's so beautiful. Then the next crystal is going to be this cute little turtle. <laughs> Look at him. He is smiling a little bit. Smiling a little bit. Cute guy. And I really have grown to love this crystal so much. Because of the glitter shiny parts. Yeah, I love it a lot. So cute. Um, I don't know what crystal this is, but I can look it up later if you want me to. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. Quite a big piece as well. So. And since we are now into the carvings, I can do another carving, I think. 
So this is a... I will turn this light off because it, it will not show you the actual light. It will influence the light, the color, I mean. So look at this snake. Very high, high quality again. And here's the trusy part. A trusy part as well. It goes all the way, like so. I love that. Again, the contrast between this smooth, beautifully carved parts and the trusy raw material. This is the back and it is also very soft and polished. Here's the face, here's the tail, the tip of the tail. Next, let's see. This is definitely one of my favorites. It's a tiny tower, a sphalerite tower. Look at the glitter, it is insane. I hope it, it shows on camera because in real life it's much, even much more glittery. And what I like about Svalerite is the fact that you can look into the crystal very often. Like so. Look at all these holes. Isn't that interesting? It looks like, it looks like a ru ruin. And I love ruins. It looks like a cathedral, you see, with the point. And all these, almost gothic. A little gothic. The art style, gothic, you know. Oh, it's, and what I like is that this is polished. I have, I wish, this is also fluorite over here. Oh, I have to put on. Oh, the light is on. Or not. Yeah. It looks so dark. Um. This is also fluoride, I'm going to show you in a minute, and it's not polished, so you can see the difference. This one is polished, so it's very smooth. Yeah. And this one is not so expensive. Because it's so small. Gorgeous, I, I, I love it so much. I have not put anything up for sale yet on any website, so, yeah. I only sold two pieces to a person I know. So here is Svalerite as well. And it's super, super glittery. I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but I hope you can see it. It's so glittery. Amazing. And what I like about Svalerite is that it has all these lines, like lifelines, and the, all the little holes. It comes alive because of it. You know, it's not boring. It's... You can discover something new in this material every time. Because of all the holes, all the glitter, all the trussy parts. I really hope you can see the glittery parts. Can you see? Yeah, I think you can see. And this stuff that is on here is a little glue. They put it on there so it's protected during the traveling. It's very important, you don't want to break the tip. Gorgeous one. I have some notes here, let me 
see if I have not forgotten anything. Uh, yeah. Very good. So this is the other fluorite. I think it's a little taller, let me see. Yeah, it's a little taller. So even more glittery, I think. Because the bigger dolls are, the more glitter you see, of course, the inside, the trussy parts, like here, here. I like the openings. And the crystals I sold are two of these. A longer one and a shorter one. And it was one of my favorites, one of those. Because it had a huge hole here, you can see into the crystal. I will add a, a photo of it after this, right now. So right here, the opening was, and I loved it so much, it was so much like a ruin. But I sold it because I thought I didn't get into the crystal business to have a hard time selling a crystal every single time. I just have to get over that. I have to be a tough lady, a tough businesswoman. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't have to be a tough businesswoman. I'm... That's what I like about selling crystals. It's such a warm business. You know, the way it makes... How happy it makes people. It makes me so happy to see how happy she got when she bought these crystals from me. She was so excited. And she sent me photos of how the crystals look in her room. And that just warms my heart. It makes me so just as happy as when I would have kept the crystal, you know. It just gives me such joy that someone else is so happy with the crystal. <laughs> Yeah, so, super glittery, even though you don't always see it on screen. And what I also like are the, these white parts in Svelarite. It brings it a little life and light. So, she bought two of these, and they would stand like so, and it is such a nice combination. I totally get it why she bought two. First she bought a bigger one and then she saw the smaller one on my table here and she said, oh, I, I do want a couple, a set. And that looks really nice. And yeah. Okay, next. Oops. You can put all kinds of spheres on the holder. And I have more beautiful holders as well. These are just very basic holders, even though I like these as well. I think they have an interesting geometric shape. And I have them in silver, gold, rose gold like this one, and gold. We're almost at 30 minutes. So I think I'm going to do a part two, because it's getting too long. <laughs> so let's close with some... Let's close with some relaxation for you. Let's close with some relaxation. As you look at my hands right now, that's my stomach. I'm sorry, I'm very hungry. <laughs> As you look at my hands right now, try to be as relaxed as you can. Let this day go. This day is over. You can let it go. You are going to sleep now. Sleep, sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep now. And you have been watching these gorgeous crystals and they have this relaxing this relaxing effect on you 
especially the amethyst I'm going to get the relaxing energy towards you like so Nine. 